In this video, we're going to solve for the share of income earned by capital and labor. So we have an industry or an economy-wide production function given by the following. Q is the output, and we got units of capital and units of labor. W is the wage rate. R is the rental rate or price of capital. And P is the price of the output good, Q. Uh, we want to prove that alpha is the share of capital's income and one minus alpha, the exponent on the L term here, is a share of labor's income. And the share of capital's income is going to be just capital's income divided by the total income, where the income to capital is the price of capital times units of capital, and the total income in the economy is going to be the price of the output good times the number of units of that output good. Uh, share of the labor's income um, is going to be labor income, which is a wage times units of labor, divided by, again, total income. And these two things should sum to one. So taking our production function, I'm going to first get the marginal product of capital, taking the partial derivative of Q with respect to K. Uh, we bring this alpha down in front, and then on this exponent on the K term, uh, the rules of derivatives tells us it's going to be alpha minus 1 now. And in a competitive industry, input prices equal the value of the marginal product. So R is the input price for capital, and in a competitive market, that'll equal the value of the marginal product of capital. What is the marginal product of capital? The value of the marginal product of capital is going to be the price of the output good times the marginal product of capital. So making a substitution for the marginal product of capital, which we found in this step, bringing that down here. And now we can go to our formulation for the share of capital's income. So it's R times K and divided by P times Q. So the first thing I did is for R, I'm plugging in the value of the marginal product of capital. And then that's still being multiplied by K. So that's where this K is here. So we got the value of the marginal product of capital times K in the numerator. And then in the denominator, got price times Q. And for Q, I'm just going to plug back in the production function. And now it's just a matter of simplifying. So the P's cancel. The A's cancel. Uh, the, the L terms cancel here. L raised to the 1 minus alpha. And then we've got L raised to the 1 minus alpha. And the denominator, they cancel. And so we get this step right here. And we can do some final cancellations um, in the numerator now, just adding up these exponents on the k term. We're just going to have k to the alpha, and that's being divided by k to the alpha, so we're just left with alpha. So the share of capital's income is going to be alpha. To get the share of labor's income, the simple method is just it's going to be just 1 minus the share of capital's income, so it's going to be 1 minus alpha. I'll, 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 I'll prove that a little bit more formally here in a second, but that would be the simplest way to get the share of labor's income. So if you want to show share of labor's income a little bit more formally, just follow me. Okay, so once again, we start with the production function. We get the marginal product of labor. We recognize in a competitive market that the price of labor, the wage, equals the value of the marginal product of labor. The value of the marginal product of labor is the price of the output good times the marginal product of labor. Making our substitutions in for the mar or making our substitution in for the marginal product of labor. And then going here to the share of labor's income. So W times L. So for W, I'm plugging in the value of the marginal product of labor. That's going to be all multiplied by L. And as I did before, for Q, we're just going to plug in the production function. And now it's just a matter of simplifying. So the P terms cancel. This capital A term cancels. The K terms cancel. You'll be left with this. And 
this last step here, all the L terms will nicely cancel, and you're left with the share of labor's income equaling 1 minus alpha. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.